Hi, I'm Dr. Christopher Segler. I'm a cyclist and Ironman triathlete in San Francisco. I'm also a podiatrist who focuses on sports medicine for active people like me. Today we're going to talk about cycling biomechanics, efficiency, and knee pain. So if you think about this, obviously a cycling shoe is rigid and has, in most cases, a carbon fiber uh, outsole. And so when that uh, pedal is in the cleat, it's rigidly locked in position. Now your foot, of course, has to sort of adhere to that. There's not much that you can do about that. When we pair that with a foot model, for example, if everything is aligned properly, your leg's going to be straight up and down, and as a result, your uh, kneecap is going to track uh, straight as, it, as you pedal each time around. However, if your forefoot is rotated and your forefoot has to come down every time you pedal in order to realign itself, and that will essentially bring the leg inward toward the top two, and as a result can cause the knee to track incorrectly and cause pain. The same thing can happen if your forefoot is rotated in, rotated in the other direction where it has to lean outward. So you may have seen this when you ride with other people uh, where one knee is far inside or outside or some people look like their legs are very far apart or very close together. Uh, that can be malalignment and we can fix that with, with, re with adjusting the way that the, essentially the foot hits the pedal. So this is a cycling orthotic, which is made to go, of course, in a cycling shoe. Uh, many people get different problems with cycling because of the deformities in their feet, and obviously your feet are the ones that are on the pedal and the important part. In this case, uh, the patient had um, relatively flat feet, but also happened to have what we call a forefoot varus, where the forefoot is tilted on the rear foot. Now, the only way you can correct for that is to actually tilt all the way over which can put a great deal of stress on the posterior tibial tendon and cause other things like uh, ankle pain and knee pain. So in order to correct for that, what we had to do was make a custom orthotic that would fit in a cycling shoe. So it's narrow and it's thin, uh, but it's very strong, just like other cycling materials. Um, this device is, is made of uh, carbon fiber or graphite, which you can see here. Uh, so it's very, very rigid, just like a bicycling frame. Um, it has a custom molded uh, platform for the patient's foot, uh, but in addition, this patient had uh, this uh, forefoot varus deformity, so we needed to be able to bring the orthotic up to the patient's foot, and we do that by measuring the deformity and then wedging the foot. So this patient had about a three degree forefoot varus, so we have more material here, which you can see, uh, as compared to the other side, where he needed less material, so it's much thinner over here that essentially corrects for that deformity so that he'll be able to pedal more efficiently. That's a picture of me and that's the bike that I always ride. So if we're in Marin and you happen to see me out on a ride and have a question, feel free to ask me while we're riding. If you're not in the Bay Area and have a question about cycling biomechanics or pain, you can feel free to call me at any time.